and then we'll talk about layers now. I'll just do a real simple example. So we have our background layer. This is how the how the app initially starts when you first open a fresh document and then it comes with a draw layer. So we'll make a draw layer and I'm just gonna make a circle and I will make another layer and we'll make this a draw layer. And maybe I'll make this purple. And I'm just gonna kind of trace that black line I just made. And to fill in the center, I'm just gonna take my pen and tap and hold in the middle and it fills. So now we wanna put our black line above our fill line. I'm just gonna click and hold on, the, on this layer and drag it up. Maybe I picked a bad color, but not a problem. I'm gonna go back to the draw layer and I'll actually rename these. And to do that, what you do is just tap on the layer. At the top of the menu, you see it says draw layer. I'm just gonna tap on that and I'll call this fill. And then click done. And then I can tap anywhere off this menu to have it go away. And like I said, it's hard to see that dark purple fill with a black line on top, so I'm just gonna select a new color, and I'll select this lighter shade of purple, and just click and hold inside. And then it fills that shape. So the cool thing about working with layers is uh, the further you get along in your sketch, the more you're gonna wanna add details, because the details are really what kind of, um, it makes your style. Everyone has kind of their own way on how they like to add detail. Some people don't like a lot of detail. Some people like a lot of detail. So let's add in maybe a highlight and a shadow. So I'm gonna add a new layer. I wanna draw a layer. I'll call it highlight. Hit done. Tap anywhere off the menu. I'm gonna go to my color palette and I'll choose, let's see, this kind of uh, bright pink. Maybe I'll make this brush a little bigger by just tapping on it and scrolling up. And let's just draw a, a line. Okay, I don't really like that line, so undo. And we'll try that again. Okay, that's cool to me. So on the highlight layer, if I needed to, maybe I want to add another line up here or a circle or something. Maybe there's another one here. Let's add another layer. Let's call this shadow. So we'll draw layer, tap on the name draw layer, and we'll call this shadow. And in my opinion, it's super important to name your stuff because along this right hand side, you might have like more than 10 layers and it gets confusing when they all say draw and they all have very tiny shapes on them. So the cool thing about this is now I can go back to my color palette and pick a nice, that dark purple that we began with and let's get a nice fat line and let's draw another shadow line. I don't like that line, so let's do it again. Okay, so now we have kind of a bubble or or some something like that. So that's that's basically what it is drawing on the iPad. It's super simple. And there's obviously other types of brushes you can use. You don't have to use the standard um, brush pens. So experiment. There's opacity and everything within these brushes. So it there's a lot of things you can do with with these tools. So the other tools I want to show you what show you are, and let me actually just delete these, show you how to delete layers. So select the layer, tap it once. Towards the bottom menu, you see delete. I'm going to do it for all these. We're going to do the same exercise again, but this time I'm going to use um, one of the drawing shapes. So we'll make a layer. I'll call this circle. And hit done. Click anywhere off the menu and then toward at the very top right you see this kind of triangle and circle shape and it comes with a whole bunch of shapes to choose from but for this demonstration I'm going to just use a basic circle and with your two fingers you can kind of like turn turn the shape to any direction you need it. At the bottom you see an X that makes the shape go away. Let's turn that back on 
and on the left you see these arrows and it kind of skews the shape into an oval or a perfect circle and and when you're using this you can see like these little orange lines will light up every now and then and that means it's snapping into position in this case it's a perfect circle so I'm just gonna enlarge this by pinching and expanding I'm going to get a black brush and maybe I'll, I'll make this a nice fat line and these gray dotted lines I'm just gonna basically just draw around and I'm done hit the little X to make it go away and there we have our perfect circle I'm gonna do this one more time actually what I'm, I'm gonna cheat here maybe I'll just go with clicking on this layer and clicking duplicate so now on the right we have two circles and I will rename this one fill And if you accidentally have your fill layer above like this, not a big deal. Uh, I'm going to show you why in a second here. So let's grab, um, let's take this pink color, and I'm just going to click and hold my pencil within the circle. And I also want to color the black line as well. So I'm just, all I'm doing is going to, let's zoom in nice and close here. I'm taking my pencil, and I'm just going to tap and hold on that black line. And we'll zoom out. So now we have our circle layer or black ink layer underneath. In fact, let's call that black ink. Black ink done. Tap off. And I'm going to click and hold on that layer. You can see it's active when it kind of uh, enlarges a little bit. And I'm just going to drag it up above the fill layer. Now let's make, let's make it kind of three-dimensional. So I'll add, we'll make another layer. We'll call this layer Oh, highlight and done. And on the highlight layer, I'm just going to tap off this menu, go on the left to, to color, and we'll pick a let's pick a shadow color. So I'll pick this dark purple. So now, what I'm going to do with this color selected, I'm just going to take my pencil and just draw a small dark stroke. Okay, so that's, I, I named that improperly, that's not highlight, that would actually be a shadow, not a big deal to rename, and click off. Let's add another layer, this time let's call this one highlight, and done. Click off to close that menu, select the color swatch on the left here, and let's choose this bright pink and same thing that I did below I'm just gonna add a line pushing hard and then letting up and maybe I'll add like a little circle here so I'm just gonna draw a little circle make sure that it's closed and undo this I'm gonna show you something something along the way that you're gonna need to know so if I wanted to make this shape and fill it in with that pink it's super easy to do there is, however, a way that it won't work, and that's if I draw a circle, and I purposely didn't close the line, so here's an open shape, and to the right here, I'll make a closed shape. So anytime you see, um, I'll just pick a different color here so you can see it. I'll put this in the middle of the screen so you can actually see it. So here is an open path, here is a closed path. That's the, the difference between the two. If it's not working or filling for you, that's the reason why is the path isn't closed. So to to remedy this, I would just simply draw a circle, make sure that it's closed, and I can just click and hold inside the shape. Not sure what message that was. Let's try that again. And click and hold, and then there we filled in a nice circle. So that's how to draw with the iPad.